Welcome back to 7 News. After almost three years, the Scottish Rite Masonry members of Wheeling are proud to announce they have their cathedral on 14th Street back under their ownership. 7 News reporter Annalise Murphy took a tour of the building with the organization, and she joins us live now with more historic details. Annalise. Catherine, Steve, to say the members of the Scottish Rite Masonry are excited to have their 107-year-old cathedral back is an understatement. This historic building holds so many memories for Masonry members and the city of Wheeling. With a lot of tender love and care, they are working hard to open it back up for public use. It's one of those things where you don't realize what you had until you lost it. And so when I come up with this idea to try to save the building, there was a lot of excitement. Wheeling Scottish Rite members sold their cathedral a few years ago because it was too expensive to keep it. However, they were awarded the building back after a bankruptcy foreclosure situation as of June 16th. Members had to wait 30 days before they could get to work on renovations, but now it's full steam ahead getting everything up to code. It was built in 1916. Um, there was close to 10,000 members in its heyday. This is the only building in the state of West Virginia that was built specifically for Scottish Rite Masonry. So we're pretty proud of that. The Scottish Rite Cathedral, like many other places in the friendly city, is home to a lot of history. The five-story building houses a ballroom, a theater, and a library. Most of this marble came from Italy. It was hand laid. The floors was just little small pieces that was individually hand laid. So. There was a lot of work that went into making this building what it is. Once renovated, members plan to host weddings, conferences, and other events in the space. Brown says they want everyone to see and enjoy its beauty, making memories with their loved ones for generations to come. Brown says they are confident in their ability to open the cathedral back up for public use by October of this year. Reporting live in the 7 News studio, I'm Annalise Murphy, working for you.